Now at five, summer's first sweltering temperatures have arrived here in the Southland. What health and fire officials say you can do to protect yourself, though, during this holiday weekend heat wave. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 5. I'm Rick Chamber. And I'm Kareen Winter. Well, brace yourself. Yeah. The first real heat wave of the season is hitting SoCal this weekend. Yeah, the hottest days of the year so far, anyway, expected over this holiday. Heat advisories and warnings already infect in some places tonight. Some areas already seeing temperatures climbing into those triple digits. KTLA's Rachel Manitoff is live in Santa Clarita with ways you can beat the heat. Hi there, Rachel. Hi, Kareen. Hi, Rick. Well, right now we're hovering around 105 degrees. There is an excessive heat warning in Santa Clarita through Sunday night at 8 o'clock, and this extends to the Antelope Valley and the foothills. And what this means is we're experiencing dangerously high temperatures. We did consult with a doctor from Dignity Health in Northridge who says the number one thing you can do right now is to stay hydrated. He also had an important message for all of the parents out there. Listen to what he told us i would strongly encourage you not to leave children unattended in the car and that you know it can be very dangerous for them car temperatures can rise very fast and be very high so um you know if you're going out and about take the kids with you don't leave them in the car uh, definitely as well as old older individuals you want to try to keep them all safe this also goes for your pets. Do not leave animals in a hot car. It's very dangerous. And the hottest temperatures are going to be in the high desert. Lancaster and Palmdale are going to hit temperatures anywhere from 107 to 110 this weekend. Foothills in L.A., Ventura, and San Bernardino counties are also expected to reach triple digits. So this means that in many areas, there will be poor air quality and there's increased risk for heat-related illnesses. For many, the ideal place to be this weekend is going to be the beach because forecasters say there will be a cooler marine layer and it'll keep temperatures down along the coast. We also spoke to a meteorologist with the National Weather Service today and they gave us some advice. Heat is the number one killer in, in the weather business. It says kills the most people on a yearly basis so the heat is a very serious issue uh, so people need to take you know proper precautions you know stay hydrated uh, you know limit activities during the peak heating of the day you know, uh, definitely, you know, check on your uh, neighbors, uh, your pets, your elderly folks and so forth. And, you know, just, you know, kind of avoid being very active during the peak heating of the day. And this high pressure system, which is causing the excessive heat, is expected to dissipate on Monday. But we are going to see above average temperatures on the 4th. And then we'll see a cool down on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Coming up in the next hour, you'll hear from firefighters at the L.A. County Fire Department about how they're maneuvering through this incredible heat and some of the challenges they're facing as a result. We're live in Santa Clarita. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. All right, Rachel, thank you for that.